Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another tutorial of uh, you construct in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the proof of the database. Uh, the proof of the database allows you to have a unique ID on each one of the buildings in the game. Uh, this allows you to get through runtime the prefab of the certain game or of the certain building. Uh, with that you can actually go ahead and uh, retrieve that through code and you can use that for many many use cases. So for example you want to send a prefab through network you can say you can just send the uh, building ID and then you can retrieve the prefab of it. Or you can actually uh, go ahead and send like in the saving system that's what I used it for uh, the build the prefab ID and then just load it by the prefab ID um, so how do you use that uh, it's pretty cool there's two ways to actually update your uh, prefab ID uh, first of all the prefab ID is gonna be next to your name of the building now if you don't have a prefab ID what's gonna happen is something like that it's going to be minus one now how do you update it there's uh, three ways to update your uh, prefab ID uh, the first one is the uh, most safest one. To go ahead and just do a prefab to prefab ID. It doesn't affect any other any of the other uh, buildings in the project. Only your building, which is pretty safe. And next one is going to be a little a little less safer. Uh, it can corrupt your uh, save, and it most likely will. I do uh, reconstruct initiate prefabs update, and this is going to update all of your uh, prefab IDs in your project. Uh, it, it's going to probably co uh, corrupt your save. So this is not the most recommended one. Now, if you duplicate your um, if you duplicate your building and you want to do it in the safe way, uh, you won't have in here an update uh, prefab ID. You're gonna have to reset your prefab ID and reassign this. Uh, you're gonna save something like this. I'll show you. I don't want to corrupt this one here, but if I go ahead and add in here a base building, let's add this in here. Uh, add prefab to the base, and let's see when uh, I duplicate this building here. Uh, I'll show you actually duplicate it. You can see it has the same ID and it doesn't have add prefab to the to the base. So you're gonna have to reset the prefab ID and then add again. Now the reason uh, this might be a problem when you duplicate it has the same ID is because when you save the system, what's gonna happen is it's, gonna, it's not gonna have a reference, which is pretty hard. It's, you're not gonna be able to get the other building and get the first one instead. So it's very important to have each one with a unique ID. Now again, you could just do uh, this, which is very sim which is a lot simpler, but it might corrupt your build, so it's not very useful. Not build, sorry, you're safe, so it's not very uh, useful. Uh, but by save, I don't mean actually the project. I mean just the the you construct saving. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. it doesn't there's not much to it. Uh, there's actually another thing I want to show you. You can actually access it through code. Uh, it's written in the documents, but I want to show it in here anyway. If we go ahead and open a uh, C sharp script, it's called uh, saving example. Sorry, oops, DB example. Uh, let's go ahead and add here some references. Oops, and also using uconstruct.core. Now, what uh, that's pretty useful. I'm gonna show you now how you're gonna use this. Uh, just a method doesn't really matter. Uh, just for example, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do um, prefab database. Oops, I forgot to take uconstruct.core dot prefab database and then dot prefab database dot instance dot gigio. Now this this uh, function takes a parameter called uh, prefab ID. Uh, this takes the prefab ID of the building. It's gonna return the prefab of it. So if we go ahead and do in here on like a base building, uh, you're gonna see there's a parameter in here called prefab ID. And if you compile that and run it in the game, it's gonna return you the prefab of that uh, prefab ID of that sorry for that building. It's pretty useful for a uh, set building system, saving system. Uh, so the network system, the saving system, and all these kind of things, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not much to it. It's a very simple feature. Uh, it's very useful as well. Uh, I hope you find it useful. And uh, yeah, if you have any more questions, make sure to email me and I'll answer you. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, goodbye.